Hi, church family. Welcome to One Church TO Take Five. I'm Jonathan, the lead pastor here, and I wanted to take five minutes of your time to encourage you today. My wife, Shelly, and I, we've been going through this devotional. It was written in 1923. It's called Streams in the Desert by a Mrs. Cowman. And uh, a couple of days ago, one of the devotionals was so encouraging and challenging, and I knew I had to share it with my church family. She starts out by quoting from the book of Hebrews, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. The faith for desperate days. The Bible is full of such days. Its record is made up of them. Its songs are inspired by them. Its prophecy is concerned with them, and its revelation comes from them. It's, in other words, there's this gift in desperate days. We don't feel like it when we're going through it, but some of the best songs and psalms have come from places of desperation. Uh, we're in a season where they can feel a lot like that. Uh, she goes on to write, she says, the desperate days are the stepping stone in the path of light. They seem to have been God's opportunity and man's school of wisdom. Man, as I look back over my life, I've noticed that in those moments of desperation, um, they, it's been almost like a, a path that kind of divided both ways and I had a choice. And often the choice was try to escape them. Uh, but it's amazing the wisdom and strength that you gather as you go through them. And she makes this point as she points to even the Old Testament in these moments of deliverance and desperation that we see God's power show up time and time again. She talks about the Red Sea, recalling the story of the Red Sea and its deliverance, or of the Jordan River when the children of God walked through and the ark parted the waters before them and they walked through on dry land, or the prayers of Asa or Jehoshaphat or Hezekiah when they were sure pressed and knew not what to do. Go over the history of Nehemiah and Daniel and Hosea and Habakkuk. Stand with awe in the darkness of Gethsemane and linger by the grave of Joseph's garden through those terrible days. Call the witness of the early church and ask the apostle the stories of their desperate days. Desperation is better than despair. So, in other words, what we're going through right now is not uncommon. Christians, followers of Jesus have for centuries, people of God have for centuries experienced moments of desperation. But desperation is certainly better than despair. Faith did not make our desperate days. Its work is to sustain and solve us through these days. The only alternative to a desperate faith is despair, and faith holds on and prevails. And uh, she gives this example. She says, there's no more heroic example of desperate faith than the Hebrew children in the fire. The situation was desperate, but they answered bravely, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of the hand of the king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve any other god, nor worship golden image that you've set up. I, I like that phrase, and she accentuates it in this writing. She says, but if not. Because it, it, it's reminiscent of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane when he asks his father, he said, if this cup can pass from me, but he says, nevertheless. This is a deep faith that holds on in the dark. And she ends this as giving us an encouragement to hold on to a nevertheless, we'll get through this, God will sustain us. And she says this at the end, and remember, this is written in 1925. She says, now get your hymn book and sing your favorite hymn of desperate faith. And she sings two verses of it here. When obstacles and trials seem like prison walls to be, I do the little I can do and leave the rest to thee. And when there seems no chance, no change from grief can set me free. Hope finds its strength in helplessness and calmly waits for thee. Father, I pray, God, that you would sustain your people today. God, that we would hold on and that our desperation would not turn into despair, but our desperation would hold on to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.